हेलो एंड वेलकम टू दिस सेशन इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द फॉलोइंग क्वेश्चन एंड द क्वेश्चन सेज दैट राइट द फॉलोइंग इन्फॉर्मेशन इन योर चेक रजिस्टर राइट बिगिनिंग बैलेंस ऑफ हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टी डॉलर्स देन ऑन जून थ्री यू राइट अ चेक नंबर टू जीरो वन टू जेम्स ग्रोसरी स्टोर You pay fifty six point three three dollars for the groceries. On June seven, you received a paycheck of one thousand three hundred and twenty four dollars and deposit in the bank. On June fourteen, you received a check from Mr. Lee of four hundred and twelve dollars and deposited it in bank. On June eighteen, you paid electricity bill of twenty five dollars. and phone bill of 24.5 dollars by writing checks numbered 202 and 203 respectively and on june 25 you took 200 dollars cash from atm for weekend spending money let us start with the solution of the given question in this question we have to fill the given information in this check register in the first column we write the check number in second column we will write the current date on which we deposit or withdraw the amount in the third column of transaction description we will write the name of the individual or business to whom the check is written in payment amount we will write the amount paid or withdrawn in deposit amount we will write the amount deposited in the account and then in balance column we will write the amount of the check twice one below the other one for the amount paid or deposited then second for the available balance now let us fill the given information The available balance in the account is hundred and fifty dollars. So we write on top hundred and fifty dollars in balance column. Now we are given on June three, you write a check number two zero one to Jane's Grocery Store. You pay fifty six point three three dollars for the groceries. so we enter this information we write check number 201 and date june 3 now we write description jane's grocery store it is a payment so we write 56.33 in payment column there was no deposit on june 3 so deposit column is blank for that day so total is 56.33 so we write it in balance now we write the available balance after this payment it will be 150 dollars minus 56.33 dollars that is equal to Ninety-three point six seven dollars. So below fifty-six point three three in balance column, we have written ninety-three point six seven. Next is on June seven, you received a paycheck of one thousand three hundred and twenty-four dollars and deposit in the bank. So we write June seven. in date column it's a paycheck so we write paycheck in description now we deposit it in bank so we leave payment column and write 1324 in deposit column so total on june 7 is One thousand three hundred and twenty-four dollars. So we write one thousand three hundred and twenty-four point zero zero in balance column. Below it we will write 
the available balance after the deposit so it is 93.67 dollars plus 1324 dollars which is equal to 1417.67 dollars so we write below 1324.00 the available balance is 1417.67 in balance column then on june 14 you received a check from mr lee of 412 dollars and deposited it in bank now we write the date as june 14 in description we write received from mr lee it is a received payment so we write the amount in deposit column so we write 412.00 in deposit column so balance for this day is 412.00 now available balance will be 1417.67 dollars plus 412 dollars and this is equal to 1829.67 dollars so we write 1829.67 in available balance next is on june 18 you paid electricity bill of 25 dollars and phone bill of 24.50 dollars by writing checks numbered 202 and 203 respectively now check number for electricity bill is 202 so we write check number 202 and date is june 18 transaction description will be electricity bill it is a payment so in payment column we write 25.00 so balance amount for june 18 is 25 and we write it here now available balance will be 1829.67 dollars minus 25 dollars which is equal to 1804.67 dollars so we write 1804.67 in available balance also on june 18 we made phone bill payment through check number 203 so we write check number 203 date june 18 and transaction description as phone bill in payment column we write 24.50 so balance is 24.50 and available balance will be 1804.67 dollars minus 24.50 dollars and this is equal to 1780.17 dollars so we write 1780.17 in balance column as available balance lastly on june 25 you took $200 cash from atm for weekend spending money so we write date as june 25 in transaction description we write atm it's a withdrawal so in payment column we write 200 dollars so balance for june 25 is 200 dollars and available balance will be 1780.17 dollars minus 200 dollars which is equal to 1580.17 dollars so we write it as available balance and this way we have got 
a required check register. This is the required answer. This completes our session. Hope you enjoyed this session.